it becomes a challenge when you want to get in a public transport and also when you want to highlight because you find the stairs are a bit uh, high and you need someone who can be able to help you and some people help you willingly but others um, help you suggestively that they want to help you but they are like uh, laughing at you quote unquote so um, I didn't like that um, perspective of people who want to help us but they are laughing at us and when I was growing up I really liked um, that someday I, I had a dream that someday I'll be able to have a car of my own and be able to drive myself wherever I want to go Welcome back my beautiful people and today we have an amazing guest here and today we're just going to talk about the challenges that persons with short stature face. So I'll allow my in, my incredible guest to introduce herself. Hi. Hi. What's your name? How have you been? Maybe you can just do a brief introduction on yourself. My name is Ruth Moeni and I'm a TV news host for Science TV. Um, I am also a Paralympian. I play para badminton. I'm a motivational speaker. I'm the founder of Short Stitcher Society of Kenya, an organization that advocates for persons with dwarfism condition. And yes. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so funny that the way people can just look at you, maybe they can underestimate you because I'm pretty sure you've faced maybe are such situations of mm -hmm. you. Yeah, yeah, sure. But you're really a big person to celebrate and I just want to tell you that receive all your flowers. Thank you. Because I you're receive deserving them. of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So tell us, uh, how did it start with you being a driver? in Kenya because mm -hmm. most of the people we will say like oh I can't get a driving license because I'm a short such such a person mm -hmm. and other more challenges mm -hmm. so how did how was it like for you for me when I was growing up I really liked um, that someday I, I had a dream that someday I'll be able to have a car of my own and be able to drive myself wherever I want to go because one of the challenges that we usually face as persons of short stature is in areas of transport, mobility and accessibility because we have like over 200 types of our condition and necessarily the highest number of people of our condition is the people who have um, a quadriplegic. Um, the highest number being the biggest percentage is people who have the condition of short stature but a category called a quadriplegia. And others fall down under quadriplegia in numbers. But you find that mostly because of the shortness of our limbs in terms of the hands and the legs, our mobility differs. So me growing up and having a dream of uh, that one day on a car, I liked um, small cars. And this has really helped in terms of accessibility because when you want to um, go from one place to another or you want to go to work or maybe you are a business person, you are busy with um, logistics of movement, it becomes a challenge when you want to get in a public transport and also when you want to highlight because you find the stairs are a bit uh, high and you need someone who can be able to help you and some people help you willingly but others um, help you suggestively that they want to help you but they are like uh, laughing at you quote unquote so um, I didn't like that um, perspective of people who want to help us but they are laughing at us and especially when it's uh, raining you find it's a bit of challenge um, because even the uh, public transport or the the matatus when you are standing in a um, stage they splash water and you know because you are almost uh, on the ground the water will just splash you like from your face downward so um, I had to think of how I will be able to manage myself to be able to get a car. And this has really helped in terms of 
uh, mobility and accessibility to where I want to go or where I want to be in a certain or specific time. And with our cars, it's um, just like any other car because any other person can be able, a person of uh, regular height can be able to drive it. But for us, we have um, this gadget that helps us uh, in terms of when you are, you are going for a driving school, you have to go to a driving school that has uh, cars that are modified to suit you. And this is one of the modifications that they usually do in our cars for us because you cannot be able to use our legs unless you have um, pedal pushers that are adjusted to the other pedals. So you usually use this one as a handrail to help you to accelerate and also for brake. Um, when you push it like um backward you are accelerating but when you push it you go forward is you are holding the brakes so you go for a training in a driving school and uh, you are taught how to drive using this and then with more practice you are able like to drive yourself and uh, move around oh that's really nice i yeah. really love the the way that you just express yourself and mm. how motivated you are and not to take the challenges that you face as something that you'll just cling on and just be like, you know, I just can't do this or move up miles extra, you know, because of your condition. You yep. such uh, motivation. So uh, just to ask, getting the cars here in Kenya mm. or in Africa generally for the persons who have short stature, mm -hmm. is it so expensive that the normal ones or the normal people who acquire the car is you must be a registered person uh, with the National Council for Persons with Disabilities. Kenya Revenue Authority works together with National Council for Persons with Disabilities um, to make sure that the car that you are importing um, you are given uh, exemption for tax. This enables you as a person with disability because the struggle that you go, it's like double the struggle that the regular persons go. And this um, helps us in terms of the government has given that as an incentive for persons with disabilities. And we as persons of short stature, we fall under the category of persons with disabilities. And this is one way to help you to move from one place to another. This is terms of incentives for mobility, like any assistive device. This is a, like an assistive device for us because you cannot be able to walk for long distance because you get tired easily or maybe you will have um, some pain on your legs. So this one helps you to move like where you want to go. And um, through the National Council, when you import the car and you follow the procedure and the process that uh, you are supposed to follow with all the documents, you are able now to import your car as a duty-free car. What you'll have to pay just the, um, the, the basic things, you have to just pay the levy, you have to pay the price for the car and do any, any documentation that any other person does. But when the car comes and it, um, it arrives at um, Mombasa at the port, KRA has to be there with you for that they can be able to access it if it's in good condition and also access your documents so that you'll be able to be in par with what is uh, needed for you to have that duty free car. Oh, that's really nice. So, Moni, I would love you to show us on how you do the driving because okay. most of the people can't believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe yeah. actions will be better. <laughs> yeah.